Hi Pisces, I'm Jennifer. Let's find out what's happening with your energy. I feel like you're you're really feeling defensive right now, Pisces. You're up in your head about something. You have been up in your head about something. And you're feeling guarded and defensive. I'm seeing you here. It's like you're holding back. And you're walking away with the Eight of Cups. There's something here you're walking away from. Could it be the Seven of Swords? This is someone lying, cheating, stealing. Someone being deceptive. I feel like you're you're picking up what you can and you're moving on. I have the Six of Pentacles. This is equal give and take. I'm going to go back and clarify the cards after I get everything laid out, Pisces. What does Pisces need to know, Spirit? We have the Knight of Swords, someone rushing in with a message. This person's holding a sword, Pisces. Okay, it's a cold, it's a cold energy What's happening with Pisces. Ace of Cups. I see new love coming towards you, Pisces. There's new love here. And then I have the Magician. I'm seeing you here. It's like you're going from being very guarded up, very defensive, picking up what you can, moving on, and manifesting something new for yourself. Okay, so let's clarify the Seven of Wands, because here I'm seeing you feeling defensive. I have the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. On the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Swords is here. Some type of painful ending, a betrayal. The Seven of Wands, all of these wands have hands on the ends of them. So whoever this reading's for, I'm seeing you feeling very defensive and guarded, but you're on higher ground. No one can touch you. You're protected at this time. Um, I see you here. It's like you're you're trying to juggle a couple of different things at once, trying to keep up with things. It's hard to juggle like this. And so I'm seeing you. I've got the Queen of Swords here, Pisces. And so making a head over heart decision. And something with all of this energy, which doesn't make sense yet. But until we finish the reading, we have the Ace of Pentacles, which is something huge being handed to you. It's a new beginning. But I feel like you have to cut some stuff out of your life to get to this. There's an ending here with the Ten of Swords, a betrayal. And then we have the Nine of Swords here. So I'm seeing you really up in your head. about this betrayal, about this pain. Why is the Nine of Swords here? We have the Empress. This is Taurus energy. The Star, Aquarius energy. <coughs> Sorry, Pisces.
what is going on? We have major arcana showing up. With the Empress here, it's there's a lot of growth in your life right now. And with the star, it's like a wish fulfillment. I feel like you're like there's something here that's your life purpose. I feel like you're finding your life purpose. It's a wish fulfillment. But you're really stuck in your head about it for some reason. It's your life purpose purpose your Pisces we have a life pur purpose in this lifetime and then we have the four of pentacles and so I'm seeing you like holding on to this wish fulfillment why is the four of pentacles here the five of pentacles the ten of pentacles Ooh, there is some um some energy here Pisces of you releasing yourself the ten of wands is a lot of burdens that you've been carrying around for a long time <clears throat> this is something you've been holding on to that you haven't wanted to let go of but you're going to let go of it. It's at a 10 right now. And then I have the five of pentacles. So there could be something here that has to do with a family or a marriage where you, where you're leaving it out in the cold. Because you're moving from this Five of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles, which is something huge. And then I see 11, 11, you're on the right path. You're dropping a heavy burden here. It's a choice. The Lover's card is showing up on the bottom of the deck. There's a choice here. See, and the next card I see is I see you walking away. From something that's very difficult to walk away from. Why is the Eight of Cups here? There was something that was supposed to be long lasting and it wasn't. Ten Swords. There's, there's a betrayal here, Pisces, and an ending. Why is the Eight of Cups here? We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Wands. I see the, the wheel of fortune is turning and pulling you out of this energy of feeling betrayed, of feeling left out in the cold. We have the seven of swords. Why is the seven of swords here, spirits? I'm seeing a family, <clears throat> there's a family or a marriage here where there's a betrayal. And so I'm seeing you here steadily working on, on your Ten of Cups, on a stable foundation with the Three of Pentacles. You're working hard right now. It's like you're just picking up what you can and moving on. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. This is material gain. Why is the Six of Pentacles here?
There you are, Pisces, the Queen of Cups. Who? What is going on here, Pisces? We have the three, the three of wands. So I'm seeing you turning your back on someone in this reading. Someone who's giving to two people. It's like this is someone that you have a lot of love for. But this person shows up as the knight of wands. This is someone who could be coming in and out of your life. Who's giving to two people. And then we have the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? This is hidden from you, Pisces. You're not seeing it with the High Priestess here on the bottom of the deck. It's like, whoever this Knight of Swords is, this is someone who was very cold to you. They're coming across being very cold. But I see this person is being really up in their head about you, and they're, they're fighting an inner battle about bringing you a message. With the Five of Wands, this is an inner battle. <clears throat> Page of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And I have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. An Apology. Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? You could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, and I have Cancer energy here, very strong. I know it keeps showing up in your reading, Pisces, but what can I say? It's here. Someone, someone wants to reconcile with you. They're coming with this Ace of Cups, wanting a new beginning in love. It's like they're really up in their head about you, thinking about you a lot. This is someone ready to take action. Someone who's willing to fight for this connection. They're trying to manifest to you. <clears throat> Why is the magician here? We have the magician here, so it's like your your intuition is right on point right now, Pisces. You're manifesting things that are coming into your reality, what you're manifesting. <clears throat> you're entering into a brand new beautiful cycle of your life. <coughs> and with the Eight of Swords, there's something that's leaving you feeling stuck. I'm going to clarify that. Because you're, there's new beginnings, exciting new begin, beginnings happening for you. But there's just something here 
that you just can't get off your mind. Why is the Eight of Swords here? I don't know why, but there's this feeling of this, of this energy. Of you stuck in your head. For some of you, you're stuck in your head about a reconciliation with someone. Someone who caused you a tower moment. You're having a hard time releasing this. It's like someone just really shook up your whole world, whoever this reading's for. Could be a Sagittarius, but someone really shook up your world. And it's leaving you stuck in your head. It was a connection with someone. Why is the tower here? This tower right here, Pisces. I'm seeing I'm seeing you here. You're like the wounded warrior with the nine of swords. Look at your face. It's like you're looking back like at this tower. Like just worn out. I have the lover's card and I I have the death card. The lover's card is a choice. I do see someone showing up in your energy, someone from your past again, which I keep seeing. I'm seeing them showing up again, and there's a choice here, Pisces. This could be a Gemini. It's a choice to end this or rebirth. The death card is either an ending or a rebirth of this connection with the lover's card and we all have free will so this is ending as a choice yeah there this could be a Taurus but there's someone here where there was a committed relationship who who feels like they missed an opportunity with you. They're coming back with a lot of passion and being very emotional here. Let's see what the moonology says. Does Pisces need to know spirits? What does Pisces need to know? It's a time for healing, Pisces. And your hard work is paying off. Look at the bigger picture. You and your loved ones are safe. Yeah, because for some of you out there, this is happening right now. There's a betrayal here with ten swords in the back. And I'm seeing you walking away from someone.
Eight of Cups, Walking Away, Ten of Swords, A Betrayal, and then the Wheel of Fortune is here, turning in your favor. Okay, Pisces, so these are the messages spirits have for you tonight. I hope they help and bring you clarification. And I send you lots of love and light, Pisces, and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.